Today's video from Sharpel, we're taking a look at the auto menu function on the XCA217 register. Uh, so auto menu is basically uh, gives you the facility of entering um, sequences. So for example, you could set up an auto menu to run your end of day report, or you could set up an auto menu to be a, what they call a preset cache. Um, I'll do a couple. What I'll do is I'll, I'll set up an auto menu button for £20 cash and I'll set up another one to be your end of day uh, Z1 report and it will give you an idea of um, how they work and what they are and whether they're useful for you. Obviously on this machine they're a bit limited because on a, on a machine with a bigger keyboard you would have your preset caches on the actual um, keyboard so you might if you've got an old style um, traditional pup till for example you might have a button that's 50 pound cash 20 pound cash 10 pound cash and five pound cash can't do that on this machine but you can use the auto menu function to kind of sort of do it uh, what it's best for is for running your end of day z reports more automatically uh, which is a quicker but it also cuts down on people running x reports by mistake so if you're familiar with the 217 it's a great little machine but it is a bit long-winded to run your end of day report so you go mode arrow down to x1 z1 mode tlns then you've got to remember to go to resetting because if you don't you'll run the non-resetting version of the report which will give you the data for that day um, but then the data for the next day will be wrong you then got to go into general and then press it again so it does it it does it all correctly but it's just a bit long-winded and there's a lot of button presses which you might want to do at the end of a day's trading so we'll set up a couple of auto um, sequences now just to show you how to do it you don't have to do it and you don't have to do the same ones as I've done but it it just shows you a bit more detail than the manual how to actually do them so we'll just escape out of the report mode so all the programming is done in the mode 6 which is the PGM mode so you press mode you can either arrow down to line 6 or you can just press 6 TLNS to go into it, then you need to go into setting because obviously we're editing the program, TLNS, um, and then you're looking for auto menu which is down the bottom, 12 or 13, 13 auto key, TLNS to go into it. So you can give each key sequence uh, or each auto menu, you can have up to five and give them all descriptions and sequences. I'll program the sequence first because that's the most difficult bit and then I'll do the text at the end. So key sequence, um, TLNS to enter. So my first one, I'll set up the 20 pound cash, I think I said. So when you're ready, basically the way auto keys work is they're like in computer terminology, they're macro keys, just basically a series of steps that you want the till to do. So they could be a button press, um, turning to a different mode, um, but it will make sense if, if I do a couple. Um, so auto key one, cash to enter it, and then now everything that we want auto key to do, um, we type in. So mine's going to be 20 pound cash. So I simply type in two, zero, double zero, and then the TLNS button. Um, and that then, that is the sequence. So to save it, you press auto menu and then TLNS to save. Or if you've done it wrong, you can obviously abandon it. TLNS saves it. What I'm going to do is quickly show you, I'll quickly double check it's worked, I've done it correctly. So if I go and enter a sale in the reg mode, now press my auto menu, auto 1 shows, because that's the one I just programmed. Auto 5 is one I programmed before, just to double check how to do it. And then you press TLNS to choose auto 1, and it's it's done it correctly, it's £20 cash. Um, so that, oh, that sale was £2.25 and we've got £17.75 change. Okay, so I'll now set up another one for the um, Z report, which is a little bit more complicated, um, but I'll, I'll talk you through it as I do it. So mode, six, um, TLNS, setting, it was line 13 for auto key, so we go straight into it. We're gonna go to sequence, and we're gonna press TLNS, and we're gonna do auto two, and then we're going to do TLNS. So now this is a test of my memory. So how do we do a Z report on a X on this machine XEA217? The first thing we do is we press mode, then we press four, then we press TLNS, then we press T 
TLS, no, then we press free for resetting, then we press TLNS and we press TLNS again. I'm pretty sure that's right, so we'll save it and we'll double check it. Um, and that'll prove whether you should write these things down before you do them or whether you try and do them from memory. So to save, it's auto menu, save, um, and then escape cancel. So now what I'm expecting to happen when I go into auto menu two, I'm expecting it to run the end of day Z report. Okay, so I've got it right. I was a bit lost. What you should do, I did that totally wrong. You should write down the key sequences um, in order to do them correctly, because it doesn't take long. I just didn't want to, I should have done it before I did the video, but there's our Z report. And we can actually prove that we've done the Z report correctly. Well, we can see on the screen that it's already jumped us um, to it. So I guess actually what you would probably want to do is have the same thing, but with escape, escape, two escapes at the end of it, so it jumps you back. So I'm actually gonna try and edit that. Um, so we go to um, PGM mode to mode, six, TLNS, into setting, straight into 13, then into key sequence, and then auto two. So we're gonna we're gonna redo it, but with a couple of extra escape cancels at the end. So the sequence was to do a Z report, a Z1 report on the 217. It was mode four TLNS three TLNS TLNS escape cancel escape cancel escape cancel and then we go um, auto menu to save I think I put too many escape cancels in so abandon it auto menu 2 so it's mode 4 TLNS 3 TLNS TLNS um, escape cancel escape cancel Auto menu to save, TLNS, escape cancel, escape cancel, escape cancel, escape cancel. Now auto menu two, TLNS. I'm expecting it to run the Z1 report, which it has. I'm expecting the Z1 report to be zero because we've just run a Z report and it's jumped us back to the reg mode. So that is how you do it. Um, the other thing I'd recommend doing, my video might run out, before I get all the way to doing it, is going into the PGM mode again. Once you've programmed the sequences and you're happy that they're correct, it's gonna be really helpful for you and your staff if you actually name them. So you can go into the key text, um, auto one, which was my 20 pound cash. <clears throat> you can type in a here, a description. It's two zero double zero. Oh, you can't press double zero because it thinks you're gonna program a descriptor zero zero and then TLNS to save. So that's that one. You could write in 20 pound cash after it, but I'm running out of time, so I won't. Um, and then auto two, that's my report. So I could type in Z one space report. All, all in caps really, so delete, arrow back, delete, delete, delete. I'll save it as it is, Z1, TLNS, escape cancel. Just makes it a bit easier when you're, when you're doing your reports or your auto menus that you press the right thing. Auto menu. Then you've got your choice, 20 pound cash, I would program that, Z1. It just makes it easier to understand rather than list of auto, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I hope that video has been helpful. Um, we've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the XEA217 and other sharp cash registers. Some of those will be appearing on screen now, so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.